Principal Pope here. We are so excited to have students, faculty, and staff back on campus. Some of the things that we were concerned about the first week ran smooth and ran, ran great, so we're just happy to have our Bulldogs back and ready to learn. Hi, I'm Brittany Miller, the kindergarten through sixth grade counselor here at St. Joseph, and we are so excited that y'all are back in this building and we can see our sweet babies. The kids are doing great so far. They're happy just to be around their friends and having fun. Hi. It is great to have students back on campus. You know, last March we left campus rather abruptly on a Friday uh, and then did school virtually from that point on. Uh, a lot of time has been spent from that March and of course through the summer preparing for this upcoming school year. Um, it's, I say to students, but it's great to have teachers back on campus too because let's face it, uh, these buildings are meant for education. They're not meant to be vacant. They're not meant to be empty. And so it's it's wonderful as I sit here in my office now. Uh, I can hear teachers teaching in the classrooms. I can hear students traversing the hallway. And it's just it's wonderful to have Bulldogs back on campus. What's great was we have really great students and we have really great parents. Coming back to school, what did you look most forward to? Seeing my friends and like getting to do school. I am glad we're back in school because uh, we all just missed the students who um, you know had to stay at home back in the spring. The teachers missed the students. I did too. So we're happy to be all together. We're also, I'm also happy that we're able to offer the remote option for our students who were not able to come back to school at the beginning of the school year. Okay, how do I feel about the new rules? Well, Monday was terrible. Just getting used to everything was really hard. It's gotten better since then. I think we've adapted well. And it's a necessary evil. We have to do what we have to do to keep everyone safe. What I didn't like about AMI was no personal contact with students. I hated the... The, I hated not seeing my students. I like so much seeing everybody. I think it's easier to teach when you see people, and it's much more enjoyable for everybody. I'm very excited to be back at school. Um, AMI days were not my favorite. I like to be around people, and so being around our classmates and then our teachers is great, and it's senior year, so that's exciting. I think the new school year is a little bit weird. The procedures are a little bit different to get used to. But I really miss my friends, and so I think it's cool that we get to still be together in these times when other schools don't get that opportunity. I'm glad that we're able to come back to school despite all the restrictions to be able to play sports because that's what makes St. Joseph St. Joseph. So uh, what I missed most about not being at school was my friends and also the, uh, the school library. I'm glad to be back at St. Joseph because I get to see all my friends and all my favorite teachers. Washing your hands for at least 20 seconds can prevent you from getting COVID-19. Make sure that you touch the Catching other people to avoid getting germs. And if you have to touch other people, make sure to wash your hands after. It's just that simple. Wash your hands. But that's me personally because there's so many little technical things in it that you're just like, ah. Okay, so I've been in education for 28 years. I've been a teacher and I've been an administrator. Uh, the best part I think about education is actually teaching. So one of the things that I do in my classroom is I try to make science live and I show you how you use science in your everyday life. Um, I'm going to expose my students to different careers in science and then the labs that we do, the things that we do in class are going to reinforce that so that when you recognize the things that you do here are the things that you can do later. STEM and science, the science field just opens wide up for all of my students. My name is Stella Shoebanks and I have been involved in religious education since I was in high school actually. I went to school here, graduated from here. I remember the priest would come over and talk to us about religion. When I was a senior, I actually volunteered and helped on Sundays to teach religious education. 
I didn't realize then how important it was going to be to me for the rest of my life. I hope this year in religion that we will, all of us together, pray together, pray for each other, for our world and the situation we're in right now. I hope that we will continue to grow and learn about our faith. Okay, I grew up in South Arkansas. I'm a Fordyce High graduate. I have a BA in History from Louisiana Tech and a Master's degree in Counseling uh, from Henderson State University. I have additional hours in the School of Administration from the University of Arkansas, UCA, and also Henderson State. I am catechist certified with the Diocese of Little Rock, and I'm a convert, so I've been through RCIA. You know, uh, all religions are about the search for the truth. That's why I am Catholic, because it is the truth. Uh, when I went through RCIA, uh, I had questions. Those questions were answered. I'm looking more for a analysis of why we, we believe something, why we do something. You know, questions are welcome and even encouraged. I mean, well, I know all the answers. Probably not, but we will find them together.